My name is Francesco Militano. I'm working for Ericsson Research here in Stockholm. And uh, I've been working with machine to machine since a couple of years now. And I'm leading this project in ICT Lab. It's called M2M Rise, where we are looking at the current situation where currently we have only smartphones, so around 5 billion in the world. And we are moving to a situation where there will be 50 billion devices connected. Um, for now, the only a few um, business coming are like verticals. So each um, company who has a little solution try to design the whole uh, connection and the service out of it. But it, we see that it's not growing very fast. So one of the main goals of this project is actually to offer a kind of horizontalization and able to catch all these little services together and to bring this information to the cellular network. The M-Term Rise project is divided in several tasks where we are looking about the problem in terms of connectivity and architecture and also we are looking at different applications. Um, it's because the M2M world is quite fragmented and if each, each application needs a different solution. So for some um, application like smart metering and so on, we think that in the future the cellular network can connect this uh, sensor directly. And for this reason we are proposing a new solution to change the cellular standard. Some other application like uh, smart meters, so in, sorry, smart temperature and so on, then we think about a capillary network solution which connect uh, um, a standard like Bluetooth through uh, a gateway to the cellular network and then an end-to-end -end connection. Among the different applications we are looking at, uh, we said already we have sensors, we have uh, like smart meters, we are also looking at car-to-car uh, -car connectivity. So in the future maybe we don't need to drive a car, they will be all automated thanks to the uh, sensors and to the network that they can offer the connectivity. Um, but in this project we are also thinking about how to generate the revenue based on this new world and uh, there is a, a task that look into business modeling for that and Professor Jan Markendal is driving that in KTH. And um, so starting from the traditional um, approach where there is a vendor selling the hardware and an operator uh, running the network and the end user just paying the bill, in the M2M world there would be a, a place for more uh, new players. So a, uh, a company maybe running the sensor, a company running the gateway, a company offering the backhaul connectivity and another company offering the cloud service and so on. Or maybe other players that we, we don't even think about that yet. It's, it's, it opens up for new business opportunities and new startups maybe. Um, so without going to details, I just want to say that uh, this uh, architectures and application we have designed as a concept. We, in the project we also had the opportunity to build a demo, actually two demos, and uh, thanks to Sasan that is here with us, he's, he's the leader of the demo task, and I'll give the, the word to him to explain a bit more in details. That. Okay, thanks Francesco. Uh, so, uh, I'm Sasan Ureji from Alta University. Department of Communication and Networking Department. We have a opportunity and honor to be with uh, four other partners, uh, which are Ericsson, uh, Orange, uh, Nokia, and KTH in this project. And one demo is based on the robot control for the mission critical systems. And in here, we are actually aiming to uh, examine different communication uh, architecture for the mission critical system. So we actually implemented and designed every of these nodes, the radio link, which in this case is 802.15.4, ZigBee. Uh, so we do first the communication over this, uh, this link. And then another link is, which is designed is the 
LTE-based device-to-device link, which is assisted by the cellular network. And all these nodes are so implemented and designed by Alta University. And we uh, compare these performance. We show today the demo uh, in the presentation as well. So we show that the device-to-device, -device, which is controlled by the network, has a much more reliability, reliability compared to uh, this kind of radio link, which work on ISM band, and they are reluctant to all kind of interference by other radios and things. So it was successfully done here, and then we show that one. Uh, then we have another demo, which is about the capillary network, because in future uh, for this machine to machine, as uh, Francesco mentioned, there, are, there might be mass deployment of these sensors. And we are actually deployed these sensors at Alto campus. They are equipped with some kind of sensors. In this case, there are accelerometer sensors, collect the data. And then what we actually did, we implement all these nodes at Alto by ourselves, both hardware and software. And then we also have this gateway implemented at Alto University. Because if these devices in future want to connect to the network, is overload the network. And it's, we are going to have a problem. So in this uh, demo, we're showing that how you are going to manage the gateway and how you can do sometimes virtualization for local caching and so that you get the access here. So we did, uh, we did this demo. And uh, the good news is that this is not going to end here. So we're going to continue this thing for a future project which is coming and uh, Francesco is going to lead those projects as well. So we are at your service. <laughs> so that's it, yeah. Thanks.